In our previous video, we deployed a Node.js application and Azure App Services using local Git deployment. Uh, in this video, we will be deploying the same sample application, but via Azure DevOps pipeline. Uh, we'll be using YAML to create our pipelines. I'll just create a sample YAML pipeline for the build and deploy. And uh, if you see my screen, this is the app service that we'll be using. The stack uh, version, uh, no, my major version is Node 18 and my uh, minor version is uh, 18 LTS and the startup command is npm run start. That's there. Uh, this is the website that we deployed via our local git and if i go to my deployment center you can see the source is local git and i'll quickly disconnect this because i want to deploy changes using my ci cd or you can say uh, azure devops pipeline so that's disconnected now let's uh, so this is my repository in azure devops it's the same, uh, you know, applic uh, application that we used in our last video. I will uh, give the desk, uh, the link for the video in our that we, you know, uh, in which we deployed using the local Git. I'll have it here somewhere in the description or in the right hand side of the you know top corner. So this is. Uh, I'll make a quick change in the index.ejs. I'm just changing that express into fitness geek that is done let me set up a build so it will prompt you you know what uh, whether you want to create a startup pipeline or it will you know go uh, like it is quite intelligent it will see what the code is and it will prompt you you to create a node.js express web app to linux on azure i'll select that i will sign into my subscription I can directly, you know, after the YAML is created, I can use my service connections. But for now, let me just use my credentials and then select the web app name. And you will see Azure DevOps is creating your YAML pipeline. You can create it from a startup pipeline where you will create your custom, you know, tasks. But this is, uh, you know, good enough for the starters. And once you create it, you can obviously uh, tune it or, you know, make it custom as per your requirement. You can have your Sonar Cloud static code analysis. You can have your test cases, everything in inside this YAML. So it has generated a uh, Azure Pipelines YAML file. Uh, if you see uh, the trigger is main, uh, there are some variables. In the Azure subscription, currently it is using my, uh, you know, the subscription level uh, credentials that we share, uh, that we keyed in. You can uh, provide your service connection name there. The web app name, which is uh, the one I showed in the beginning of this video. The environment name. The VM image name, which is Ubuntu latest. So these are the variables that's there in the YAML, which is uh, like um, pretty, pretty impressive if you see. So you can just change these and your uh, stages will, you know, have custom parameters. So the first stage is the build stage where we install the NPM and then we build. Then we archive the files, the drop it, drop the files, you know, and then uh, this bit, which is upload, I think uh, upload is an old, old uh, task. Uh, it should be published in the latest ones. And this next stage is the deploy. And yeah, let's save and run it. So our build stage is currently running. If we look into the logs, okay, so the build has completed. If we go to deployment, uh, the deploy task or the deploy stage, uh, we need to do some manual validation. Granting permission here will permit. Okay, that's fine. Let's give it the permissions. 
and the deployment is in progress. This is, you know, just walking through the process of uh, deploying uh, any application in Azure App Service using your uh, Azure DevOps pipelines. It can be customized. You can have lots of things uh, there, your approvals, your, ma you know, quality gates from Sonar Cloud. Uh, all those things can be built inside your YAML. Uh, okay, let's go to your deployment center and see what's happening there. So the deployment is currently in progress. If you see the Azure Web App Deploy task is currently running. It's a package deployment using zip deploy. So the deployment has successfully completed. Let's go to our website and we'll do a quick refresh to see the changes that we made at the beginning of our tutorial. You can see, uh, okay, so there's a success status on latest deployment. So let me refresh it and you will see the change. Okay, so now you can see uh, the change that we made in our code on our index.ajs is now visible so this is how you deploy uh, any application uh, be it python node.js .net, anything using your ci cd from azure devops into your azure web app and yes uh, thanks for watching and keep supporting